should be some pretty impressive autonomous during this autonomous period. We have some pretty high ranked teams in today's match. The Blue Alliance has the second and third seed, while the Red Alliance has the fifth and seventh. However, this can all change during this match, depending on how many ranking points each team gets. Currently tied, we'll have to see how that changes throughout the match. About two minutes remaining. 1024 making great use of their multi armed carrying device to lift a cone up to the top level of the grid. Each item placed up there at the top is worth five points, almost more than double than sliding it onto the floor of the grid, which is only worth two during the teleop period. 3176, Purple Precision, I believe, is making great use of their loading dock and human player stations, grabbing cargo from way up above. They'll make their way swiftly over the charge station to do the same into their grid. 1024 making use of their mechanism to grab off the ground to carry over behind their Blue Alliance partners. Blue taking a lead so far, but not large enough to determine the ending of this game quite yet. 2197, one of the smallest robots we'll see on the field today, has a unique cone holding mechanism that allows it to slot it just perfectly into the lower part of the grid, but that small size allows them to zip across the field and quickly create those cycles. Cycles is a word you might hear many use. The definition is the time between picking up a piece and placing it where it needs to go. Teams are trying to minimize that time. Red Alliance is down on points at the moment, but they can get plenty during the end game, which will just start in a few seconds from now. 3176 heading diagonally across the field, trying to place a few more items into their grid before they end the match today. The Blue Alliance already meeting the rank point needed, the four links for that ranking point. The last three seconds of their match is known as end game. We'll see robots making their way towards the charge station. All we need is contact with those to get points. However, they can nearly double their points if it's level, going from six per robot to 10 per robot. The Blue Alliance attempting to get three robots on there. However, with contact with the ground, they will need to lower their position. Counting down the end of the match, three, two, one. That was the end of qualification match 15. Let's see our scores for qualification match 15. And the winner of that match was the Blue Alliance. Taking it home with a score of 114. Not quite getting that fourth ranking point. That's what caused the team's rankings to drop, but they're still maintaining their third and fourth rank respectively.